Have you ever wondered and asked yourself, where do demons come from? Were they created by God or did they come from somewhere? And if God created demons, why would he create them so that they would be here bothering us and doing all sorts of menace like they always do? People are always scared and people are wondering, oh God, why did you create demons? That people are always casting them out every Sunday and trying to say, oh pastor, please, this son of mine has demons. Oh, please cast them out. Where do demons come from? The answer that I'm going to show you from the Bible is going to shock you. You're not even going to believe that for sure this is where they come from. Let me show you something. Now, you have to understand that everything goes back to its creator after it, it dies. Everything. It has to go back to where it came from. Now, for example, man. Who created man? And let's see where he goes after he dies. The Bible says in the book of Genesis chapter 2 verse 7, And the Lord God formed man of the dust. You see, man was created from dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and man became a living soul so god breathed unto man his breath so meaning god put a part of himself in man and you know collected the dust so so the body was dust and the breath was from god okay so what happens when man dies let's look and see this one the bible says in the book of ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 7 then shall the dust return to the earth. Remember, man was created from the dust. The body is dust. It goes back to the earth. And the spirit shall return to God who gave it. You see? So the spirit which the breath of God will go back to God. The dust, the body will go to the earth. Okay, what happens to the animals? What happens to the animals? Let's see in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verse 21. The Bible says... Who knows the spirit of man that goes upward? You see, the spirit of man going upward. And the spirit of the beast that goes downwards to the earth. The beasts, the animals, the beasts of the earth, everything of the earth, it goes down to the earth. So meaning, the reason is going down is because God created us from his image. And then the beast of the earth, the animals, they were created from the dust and only the only thing they were given is life. And after life ended, that was it. So they remained down, down to the earth. But now, something here is a problem. Where do demons come from? Because we have seen man comes from God, the spirit and the body from the dust. And that's how they finish. The animals come from, you know, uh, from the dust, from, from the earth. And that's where they, because remember when God was creating animals, he said, let there be. Let there be animals, let there be trees, let there be what? So animals, trees, and everything came from, from, from the, the earth, from the ground. So they will go back to the ground. I, I think there you have understood. So what about these ones we call demons? Where do they come from? Now, do you remember a story in Genesis chapter 6, which talks about the fallen angels when they fell down from heaven and then they decided to marry human beings, human women? Let's see what happened. The Bible says in Genesis chapter 6, verse 1, It came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them. This is men, daughters. Their daughters were born unto them. That the sons of God, Belai Elohim, saw that the daughters of men, that they were fair, and they took them wives of all which they chose. So you see, the sons of God, the, the, the fallen angels, they saw that the daughters of men, they were beautiful and they took them wives. Mm -hmm. So meaning they mixed, they slept with them. And the Lord said, my spirit shall not always try with man for that he also is flesh. Yet his days shall be 120 years. Mm -hmm. God has gotten angry. And then we see something here in verse four. There were giants in the earth in those days. Mm -hmm. So it means... In this union, something has happened. Giants have been formed. Let's see. There were giants in the earth in those days. And also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children unto them, the same became mighty men, which were of all men of renown. Do you see that? So this intermixing of the fallen angels and human beings, they brought in giants. 
men of renown, people who are really smart, really huge, people who are exceptional humans. Mm -hmm. And then verse 5 says, And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. Why was the imagination of man in that time evil continually? Because the fallen angels, they were evil. They had refuted staying in God's presence. They have come here on earth. Now they have carried their seed of evilness and mixed it up with these men who have become giants. So these giants are full of satanic evil. And it repented the law that he had made man on the earth. And it grieved him at his heart. And the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I've created from the face of the earth, both man and beasts and the creeping thing and the falls of the earth. For it repented me that I've made them. You see, God is feeling sorry and angry that after creating man, this man has mixed up with the fallen angels and they have become one and created something called the Nephilims. Right? This is the, the, the hybrids. This one is the what we call the giants. And these giants now, God decided, I'm going to destroy them. But the Bible talks about Noah. Noah had something different here. Look at verse 9, what it says. These are the generations of Noah. Noah was a just man and perfect in his generations. And Noah walked with God. You see, he's saying that Noah was perfect in his generations. So meaning, only Noah was left without this mixing. Of the two strange beings okay human and the fallen angels so what happened when these fallen angels when God brought in the flood when God brought in the flood every person died except Noah and those who were on the ark so where did the spirits go after they have died from the flood remember the spirit of man would go back to the father where it came from and the body goes to the ground. The animals go back to the ground where they came from. So what about these spirits? They are disembodied spirits. They could not go anywhere. Because they can't go up, they can go down. They, are, they come from where? They go back to where they came from. From the earth. Because they are products which was created here on the earth. They go back to the earth. And this is what we call the disembodied spirits. The wandering spirits, the demons, which are wandering from point to point without a body. Now they are looking forward and say, oh, I need a body to possess so that I can operate on the earth. They are here everywhere on the earth, but they don't have bodies. So what do they do? They have to possess people. They have to possess this and that. They are still out there trying to bring their evil towards people, towards men. And these are the things which are making people become angry so much. They are the things which are making people become as immoral as possible. These are the things which are making people become uh, all sorts of evil, evil continually. It is because these demons are possessing each and every person who doesn't want to do the right thing, who doesn't want to follow God. Anybody who doesn't have the spirit of God, most probably he is possessed by one of these. And that is why Jesus said, Come to me, all you that labor, and I shall set you free. I shall set you free from these disembodied spirits who are confusing you every day, who are out there to possess you because they are out there. And of course, anybody who was born after, because the Bible says, and also after that, there were giants. Even after the flood, the the, these giants, they kept on coming. Remember, Jesus said, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be when the Son of Man comes. So we still have giants, and they are still dying. And maybe some of them are your old relatives who are really not purely human. And that's why you see people say, oh, I saw my auntie who died. I saw my uncle who died. Oh, our old man who died. We saw him. And I don't know what, because these are the spirits, the spirits of the people who are really not purely human, who are hybrids. They're still out there looking for whom they can possess. And I'm going to explain maybe on another video why people, even in the African culture, even the cultures uh, back in the days, they used to love calling their children after a certain old man because that old man wants to have a child whom he will possess and over and over so that he can always live in different people. And that's why they say reincarnation. But there's nothing like reincarnation. It's just demons. It's just demons moving from one body to another. Did you get something? Did it make some sense to you?